Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Hello friends, I am back with a new video. Friends, in this video I will be talking about the nomenclature of plasmids and restriction enzymes. Logically when the plasmids are named, so there has to be some definite reasons why the nomenclature has been done in that way. So in this video I will be discussing totally about that nomenclature of plasmids with some examples. Plasmids, let's take one example as PBR322. Now, so when you look at P, it is written in small alphabet and B and R is capital and 322 is a number. P written in small letter, it means it's a plasmid. Where B and R is in capital letter, it actually indicates the name of the scientist. The second two alphabet can be name of the place also, but here it is name of the scientist that is Bolivar and Rodericks. When we talk about 322, it's a number which is decided by the worker. The number is given by the worker. So worker decides one number and they give this number. So PBR322 is one of the plasmid. Another example that I can give you is PUC. It is not pollution under control. When I say P, again, it's a small letter P. So it indicates plasmid. When I say U and C, it's a place, capital letter, place where it has been discovered. That is the university of California. In this way, you can remember the nomenclature of the plasmid. First letter will be always small, which is plasmid P and second two alphabets can be the name of the scientist or it can be the place where it has been discovered. Next, what we are going to try is we are going to try the endonuclease. When we talk about endonuclease, we all know that it is a restriction enzyme, the enzyme that is used to cut the DNA at a specific length. So if you want to cut the DNA, Within a particular site, we use endonuclease. Endo means in and nucleus means the nucleic acid. So one of the example is ECOR1. When I say ECOR1, the first alphabet E is capital. It indicates the genus from where it has been isolated. That is capital and it is Escherichia. And CO is the species which is written in small alphabet and it indicates coli. So ECO basically stands for Escherichia coli where R is the strain that is RD, RY13, sorry, it is RY13. So first R we have taken here and this is the order to be discovered. So first endonuclease to be discovered, it was ECOR. Let's take one more example to understand in a better way. So here I take hind three. What does this H stands for? H is capital. So again, it indicates genus that will be Haemophilus. Whereas the IN indicates the species which is small, so it is influenza. So Haemophilus influenza, if you remember, it's a virus. And we have the strain that is RD strain. RD, R cannot be taken because it has been already taken for equal R1. Therefore, we take D, the other alphabet as a strain. And it is the third to be discovered. So hind 3 basically stands for the third endonuclease to be discovered in the order. Hope friends, you have understood the concept and the nomenclature of restriction enzymes and the plasmid in an easiest way. If you have understood, please give a like and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.